Number 61. A large resource solenoid has a self-inductance of 25 Henrys. Letter A. What induced EMF opposes shutting it off when 100 amps of current through it is switched off in 80 milliseconds? So we're talking about self-inductance, so we need the self-inductance formula. This says that an induced EMF that will oppose the changing current inside of a coil will be equal to the inductance of that particular coil multiplied by the change in the current divided by the change in time over which that current is changed. So uh, the formula usually has a negative uh, sign in it. That's just to denote that the EMF induced will oppose the natural EMF, but uh, you know, just leave it out. It doesn't really matter. Um, so uh, it's asking for us to solve for what induced EMF. So we already have this solve for it. So just plug in the inductance. They told you 25 Henry's, those, those are the units. And by the way, a Henry is an ohm second, okay? So uh, just in case you were wondering. Um, so now what we're gonna do is we are now going to plug in some of the values. So it's change in current is 100. The change in the time is 80 milliseconds. You know we need that in seconds. So take 80 and multiply it by 10 to the minus three. And here we go, right? So this is simply going to be now 25 times 100 divided by 80 times 10 to the minus three. And that works out to be about 31,250. So I guess 3.13 3 times 10 to the minus, excuse me, positive four. And that is going to be in terms of volts. All right, so then that's letter A. Let's do letter now B. It says, uh, how much energy is stored in the inductor at full current? So we're going to use this formula down here, that the energy that is stored in the inductor will equal one half times the value of the inductance multiplied by the current there squared. All right. So the energy here is going to be one half times the 25 Henry's multiplied by the current of 100 squared. All right. So why don't we just take out the calculator and plug it on in? So 25. Uh, times 0.5 times then 100 squared. That's going to be about 1.25 times 10 to the 3, 4, 5. 5, and that's in terms of joules, all right? And then it says, at what rate in watts must energy be dissipated to switch the current off in 80 milliseconds now? So remember, watts or power is equal to a joule per second. Right, so that you have to remember that's the unit of watts. So in other words, um, they want to, at what rate, they want to find the power. That's really what they're asking us to solve for, okay? So they really want us to plug in those joules there. This is the amount of energy that is uh, basically stored in that inductor. And then we have to now uh, change that energy to zero in 80 milliseconds. And that's times 10 to the minus 3 because we need that in seconds. So this will be the rate of energy change. All right. And that's what power is. So this is going to be divided by 80 times 10 to the minus 3. And this is about 1.56. So 1.56 times 10 to the, let's see, 3, 6, looks like. And that is in then watts, okay? It's about one and a half megawatts, all right? And then D, in the view of the answer, is it surprising? No, this is pretty large value. Great. And uh, that's it. All right, guys, thanks for tuning in. Uh, appreciate it. If you can, help us out and subscribe. That like button if it really helped you out. And uh, if it didn't, eh, there's no harm in hitting the button anyway. <laughs> See you soon.